alive. Two teenagers are facing murder charges in connection with the mass shooting on South Street Saturday night. Authorities say the two friends had fled to Virginia where they were caught this afternoon. It is Thursday night and the big story on Action News is the major development in the mass shootings on South Street that left three people dead. 11 others wounded. Police say the two teenagers arrested today are 18 and 17 years old. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez now live for us at City Hall with the new details. Aliana. Well, Rick and Shari, I can tell you that those two teenagers who were arrested today were arrested in Virginia, and now Philadelphia police believe they have all of the suspected gunmen from that South Street shooting in custody. I also want to tell you that police also believe that both of those shooters today are responsible for the majority of the people who were shot that night. Investigators say two more shooters are now off the streets. Philadelphia police, U.S. Marshals, ATF, and the FBI worked together to arrest two young men wanted for murder in connection to the mass shooting on South Street last weekend. We received uh, a significant amount of tip information uh, to our homicide unit and our tip line. And that information was followed up diligently. 18 year old Kadir Dukes Hill of Drexel Hill and 17 year old Najee Whittington of Philadelphia were arrested at an apartment in Richmond, Virginia just after noon today. They had a team of over 20 undercover uh, plainclothes officers and deputy U.S. Marshals on the task force down there. I believe at a time they determined them to be in the apartment. They knocked and announced, made entry into the apartment without incident, and both subjects were taken in custody without incident. Investigators say they believe the two teenagers started shooting indiscriminately into the crowd of people after this fight and shootout broke out at 4th and South Street. The gunshots are happening, boom, boom, boom. Other people are in the area. They pull out their guns. I don't know what they could be thinking, but they fired and they hit two innocent people. Those innocent bystanders were Chris Minners and Alexis Quinn, who lost their lives that night. 11 other people were shot. This was something that shook our city to its core. I'm hopeful, if nothing else, this horrible incident shows the level of carnage that can be inflicted so quickly when people have easy access to guns. Right now, those two suspects are awaiting extradition back to Philadelphia. Once they're here, we're told that's when they'll be charged for murder. One, two, three, four.